everyone, Val here, and we are officially on vacation. <laughs> so I am with my sister Karen, and we are heading to New York, and we have stopped in Hazleton, Pennsylvania at the Candlewood Suites, and we ordered a suite with a refrigerator and stove and microwave and stuff where we can make our own dinner. We've brought some stuff with us for dinner. And I ordered two beds because there's two of us. And uh, when we got here, they gave us a room. We came upstairs and ended up with one bed. So I went back down and they said, this is our view. And they said um, they didn't have any more doubles. That they would have to give us a single. It was an upgrade. And I said, I don't want to upgrade. I want what I reserved. And I reserved a suite with two beds in it. So they made a phone call to somebody else who was checking in that had two doubles and uh, talked them into making one an upgrade to the single um, with a pull-out couch. Um, we don't want to sleep on a pull-out couch or a cot. We don't want to sleep on a cot. That's not what we paid for. And she did. I heard them say, you know, um, well, we're just going to charge you the $89 even though we're upgrading you to uh, a, you know, a bigger suite. And it was a bigger suite. It, it was a nice suite, but that's not what we wanted. We're only going to be here for one night. So, um, they get theirs for $89. They're double and they're, they're single. I paid $129. I need to get what I, I asked for. So, Candlewood Suites, I'm sorry you got a, a fail on this one. I, I'm sorry. Um, I need to get what I'm, I, I reserved and what I paid for. So, this is our suite. Uh, we do have our refrigerator, and it's a nice full-size refrigerator. We have a sink. We have a dishwasher. Uh, we have a little stove here and a microwave. And uh, I'm not sure what they have down here. They have paper towels and stuff. It doesn't look like they have silverware, but we came equipped with our own bowls and silverware. So uh, they have a toaster in the a toaster in the cabinet up here. Salt and pepper and sugar. Oh, there are some dishes in the dishwasher. They rewash everything every day. Um, all right, well, I'm not going to use their stuff anyway. So they can rewash it if they like to rewash it. But we brought our own paper our paper plates and plastic silverware. So um, we've got some stuff for dinner. This The bathroom is not... It's a good-sized bathroom. Got the shower with the dove, which is very nice. And uh, the, dish, the uh, blow dryer and everything in here. So we are settled and good to go. We will head out in the morning and go to New York and uh, surprise our sister. Because uh, there's one sister knows we're coming and one sister that doesn't, right? Right. All right, so this is our suite. Uh, finally got what we asked for. I don't know. We've got coffee here. Let's see what we got. We got decaf coffee and we got a regular coffee. And there is some sugars up in there. But no cups. I don't see any cups. So that should be interested. They're in the dishwasher. Real cups though. Yeah. I'll wash them before I use them if I use them. Okay and before I go I want to give you a look at this awesome chair that's in the room. Top quality chair right there. Look at it all peeling apart. Sorry. Candlewood Sweets. Definite thumbs down. This toilet leaves a lot to be desired. When you sit on it, it rocks. If the whole toilet's loose from the floor, it just rocks. This this hotel room just leaves a whole lot to be desired. We won't even talk about all the dirt down here in this corner and on the back of this door. Up the molding. Definitely don't recommend this hotel. Okay y'all, I just got out of the shower and I want to point out one more thing. The conditioner bottle is empty, you can see. The shampoo bottle is empty, you can see. 
and the soap bottle's empty. You can you can tell they're empty. There, there's nothing in them. They didn't even have anything to to uh, wash my hair with. I did use the the body bar soap that they had on the on the sink. They did provide a body bar soap. There's another one over there, but. Uh, I'm just not happy. I, I stayed here a couple of years ago on my way to New York. I mean, the toilet's rocking. It, there's no soap in the bathroom. It, I mean, the place is, is a dump. So uh, I won't be staying here again, needless to say. Don't know what's going on. Must be new management or lack of caring. All right. That's what we got. So let me know. Have you ever had the problem of going to a hotel and not getting what you asked for? And how was it resolved? Let me know because this is the second time it's happened to me. Um, one time was in a comfort inns and suites. Well, no, it wasn't. It was in a... Uh, Comfort, comfort ends, right? Yeah. Comfort ends. Okay. So, yeah. And the last time, um, they had to send us to another hotel. Luckily, they found a hotel that would take us. Um, because it's hard to find at the last minute a hotel that has rooms. So, we're lucky that they were able to give us what we asked for. Alright. Well, we're going to get our dinner. Um, let me show you what, what we got, I guess. What do we got, Karen? We got some bowls and bananas. We that got, might be for breakfast. We've got some chicken egg rolls. We got some broccoli and beef and broccoli and some shrimp fried rice. So that's going to be our dinner with some little dipping sauce. We have some odds and ends in here. We have cherries to munch on if we get hungry. We have a couple oranges in our bag. We have some mixed fruit, um, strawberries and blueberries and grapes. grapes. And we're going to put those in the refrigerator for now. And that's what we'll have if we want a snack. Um, we have some snap peas we're taking with us because we're going to do stir fry in New York too. And uh, we have a couple of oranges just in case we want a, a piece of fruit tonight or in the morning. So, thank you all for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and you want to. And uh, thank you, Pet and Chick, for our bags. They're coming in handy. <laughs> Bye now. Mm.